Welcome sa ating Statistics Lecture Series. Ang pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon ay qualitative and quantitative variables. Ano nga ba ang isang qualitative variable? It describe a certain type of information without using numbers. Wala muna tayong numbers na involved. Ano ba ang halimbawa ng qualitative variables? We have color. Hindi naman natin may describe ang color by numbers. So, color, red, blue, green, and so on. Next, we have our taste. Taste, sour, salty, sweet, and then we have our occupation, teacher, engineer, psychologist, and so on. And then gender, male, female, preference to eating vegetables. Kung mahilig ka bang kumain ng gulay or hindi. Itong mga bagay na to, we can describe them without using any numerical scale. Kaya tinatawag natin silang qualitative variables. Now to differentiate, ang quantitative variables naman, It measure or identify an information using numeric skills. Meron na tayong numbers na involved. Halimbawa, first is height. Ang height, it can be in centimeters, in inches. Meron tayong number na may ilalagay sa kanya. Halimbawa, 1.6 meters and so on. Next, number of siblings. Kung ilan ang kapatid mo. Kung wala, zero. Kung meron, isa, dalawa. Meron pa rin tayong number na makakapag-represent sa kanya. Speed of a car usually in kilometers per hour, sa US, miles per hour, and then temperature, depende rin kung anong unit, so degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit, pwede rin tayo makapaglagay ng numerical value. Number of students in a classroom, ang typical nasa 40, pero there are schools na nag exceed pa doon. And then, amount of shirt in the drawer. Kung marami kang pamalit, mas marami yan, pero kung mas konti, mas mababa rin yung number. Ang common sa kanila ay pwede mo silang represent using Numbers. Kaya nga sila ay quantitative variables. Pero, kapag nag-uusap tayo ng quantitative variables, meron pang dalawang classification. Quantitative variables can be classified as, yung una natin is a discrete variable. A discrete variable whose values can be counted using integral values. Ang susi lang sa discrete variable, kailangan mabibilang natin siya and using integer values. Sa ating examples, ang height, masusukat mo siya pero hindi mo mabibilang yung height nung isang tao. You cannot count them on 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Kaya this is not a discrete variable. A number of siblings pwede pa. Kasi pwede mong bilangin kung ilan yung kapatid mo. Kung wala, 0. Kung merong isa, 1. Kung merong dalawa, 2. Kasi wala namang kalahati na bilang na tao. Hindi naman natin pwedeng sabihin na ang bilang ng kapatid ko ay 1.5. So talagang merong integer values. Pwede nating bilangin. Ang speed of a car, we cannot count it also. Sinusukat lang natin siya. Same with temperature. Pero, ang number of students in a classroom, this is a discrete variable. Kasi pwede mong bilangin. Kung mas marami kayo, so you can count it for example, 45, 50. Kung mas konti, pwede mong bilangin ng 20, 25, or 30. And then, yung amount of shirt in the drawer, this is also a discrete variable kasi pwede mo rin siyang Bilangin. Anything that is countable, we can call it as a discrete variable. Next, we have our continuous variable. Ang continuous variable can assume any numerical values over an interval or intervals. Hindi na tayo fixed sa mga countable numbers. Pwede na yung numbers na nasa pagitan ng number 1 at number 2. Pwede na tayong magka-decimals. If discrete variable is countable, ang continuous variable naman is measured. Kaya yung height, speed of a car, tsaka yung temperature, they are continuous variable. You cannot count them as is ng 1, 2, 3, pero kaya mo siyang sukatin and yung measurement nila is not limited to integer values. To summarize our discussion, ang qualitative hindi natin nabibilang, ang quantitative ay nabibilang natin using numeric scales. Meron dalawang classification ng quantitative, ang discrete is countable, ang continuous, merong intervals, this is measured.